Summary of Thinner, Leaner, Stronger The Simple Science of Building the Ultimate Female Body by Michael Matthews Introduction How Thinner, Leaner, Stronger Book is Different from Other Fitness Books Mike Matthews, the author of Thinner, Leaner, Stronger, believes that the fitness industry is full of fallacies. He thinks that you don't need to starve yourself, spend too much money on diet pills, or exhaust yourself doing workouts just to get the lean body you want. Mike became the go-to person for his relatives, friends, and co-workers for fitness advice. He would usually hear unworkable fitness ideas taken from various media outlets and other types of propagandas which causes confusion. He has experienced it himself that's why it became his mission to start educating people about fitness and wrote Thinner, Leaner, Stronger. The simple science of building the ultimate female body. He wants to rid people of the false fitness ideas that the brilliant marketers came up with to support the continuously growing demand for fitness products and services. Thinner Leaner Stronger is a compilation of Mike's body fitness wisdom translated into simple and workable tips and instructions. It is a simpler approach on how to achieve maximum results in the shortest possible time. The book explains how women can build strength and lose weight through a combination of resistance training and healthy eating. The Secret of Some of the World's Hottest Women When you think of the world's hottest women, my guess is you might think of Victoria's Secrets models. He says they have amazing bodies, but they work hard for them. Many women don't know how much they train. Mike says they train like men and do a lot of weight training. They also do some cardio. Many women think that weight training will make them bulky. But that's not true. It's one of the myths in women's fitness. Building muscle is the best way to get the body you want. Women have much less testosterone than men, so they can't get as muscular as men. Weight training will help you get toned, not bulky. What Thinner, Leaner, Stronger is all about. Thinner, Leaner, Stronger is about getting better results with the right diet and exercise. Mike promises that you will lose 10 to 15 pounds in three months if you follow his training and nutrition plan. He doesn't have any new or special exercises or diets. He just has a simple way to get the best results in the shortest time. To start, he wants you to forget what you know about working out. Chapter 1. The Hidden Barrier to Achieving Your Fitness and Health Goals In the subject of health and fitness, you will be receiving a lot of conflicting ideas from all kinds of sources. Each source has their own version of fitness truths. Mike recalls how he was told that counting calories is ineffective, or that eating fatty food at night will immediately turn into fat, or that chicken has less protein than broccoli and so on. If you ever get advice like those above, Mike says that the first thing you need to do is ask, what is a calorie? He bets that you would not be getting an answer anytime soon and that's just the start. You could try the term carbohydrate, protein, fat, muscle, vitamin, hormone, or amino acid next. Most people easily believe ideas handed to us by other people because we lack the basic understanding of the words related to the subject we are faced with. To Mike, words are hidden barriers that are often overlooked but affect us a lot more than we ever know. Without knowledge, we misunderstand concepts by guessing their meaning through clues just as we were taught in school at a young age. However, this is an unreliable method that misleads us from the message that the words are communicating. In Thinner, Leaner, Stronger, he wants to clarify concepts to be used as the first step towards building your understanding in fitness. He also wants to decrease the difficulty of the learning curve and be on the same page as you so you would not come up with self-thought ideas far from what he is trying to tell you. Chapter 2. What Most People Don't Know About Health, Nutrition, and Fitness Part 1. Science of the Body Energy means having power from different sources like food, electricity, fuel, and others to do work or move things. It can also mean how much physical or mental strength you have to do something. Organisms have cells inside them. A cell is what keeps you alive by making energy. It can also make more cells or talk to other cells. A normal-sized man has about 60 to 100 trillion cells inside him. Many cells together make tissue which looks and works alike but bigger. A lot of one kind of tissue makes muscle which helps you move by connecting to bones. Different kinds of tissues together make an organ which does something special for your body. Fat is extra oily flesh under your skin. Some fat helps you live and do things in your body. You can also use fat from plants for cooking. Food gives your body fuel and nutrients it needs. Nutrients are things that living things need for energy and growth. The calorie measures how much energy food has by how much it can heat up water by 1 degree Celsius. If you eat more calories than your body uses, it turns into fat. Your body uses proteins made from natural compounds to make new cells and tissues for growth and repair. Most muscles have protein in them too which makes your bones stronger and keeps you healthy. Proteins come from amino acids which have acid parts in them too. 
Carbohydrates mean things made from carbon, oxygen, and hydrogen stuck together. Digestion means when your body breaks down food into smaller pieces. Enzymes help living things do chemical reactions faster. Metabolism means when your body uses food for energy or makes new things from it. There are two kinds. Anabolism means when your body makes bigger things from smaller ones using energy. Catabolism means when your body makes energy by breaking down bigger things into smaller ones. Chapter 3 What Most People Don't Know About Health, Nutrition, and Fitness Part 2 Nutrition Health is the state of a person's body. Being healthy means being free from sickness. Eating the right nutrients helps us stay healthy. Nutrition is about using food to stay healthy. Some people follow a special diet to control what they eat. Sugar is a sweet carbohydrate. The most common type is table sugar or sucrose. Carbohydrates are turned into glucose, which gives us energy. Our body stores extra glucose as glycogen. Blood sugar is the amount of glucose in our blood. There are two types of carbohydrates, simple and complex. Simple carbohydrates are easy to break down while complex carbohydrates take longer. Starch is a complex carbohydrate found in fruits and vegetables. Hormones are chemicals that tell our body what to do. Insulin is a hormone that helps our body use or store nutrients. The glycemic index measures how fast carbohydrates affect our blood sugar. Low glycemic index foods break down slowly while high glycemic index foods break down quickly. Grains are seeds from plants like wheat. White bread is made from wheat flour that has been bleached. Whole grains still have all their parts. Fiber is found in grains and helps our body get rid of waste. Our body stores energy as fat. Fatty acids make up fat cells and can be liquid like oil. Essential fatty acids are needed by our body, but we can't make them ourselves. We can get them from plant and fish oils. Chapter 4 What Most People Don't Know About Health, Nutrition, and Fitness Part 3 Health If someone doesn't get enough nutrients from their food, they can take a dietary supplement to help. This is often needed for vitamins and minerals that our bodies can't make on their own. If we don't drink enough water, we can get dehydrated. Our bodies are mostly made of water, so we need to drink it often. Organic foods are grown without chemicals. All natural foods are also good for us because they don't have any added chemicals or empty calories. Cholesterol is a waxy substance in our blood. Some cholesterol is good for us, but too much of the bad kind can block our blood flow. The body mass index or BMI is a way to guess if someone is a healthy weight for their height. We can also measure how much body fat we have by using our body fat percentage. If someone has too much fat, they might be overweight. If they have a lot of extra fat that's hurting their health, they might be obese. Chapter 5 How to Avoid 8 Common Mistakes in Building Muscles Mike says that most people who go to gyms don't know how to train right. They just follow random tips and plans from magazines or friends. They also eat too much or too little. To help you build the body you want, he tells you the 8 myths and mistakes that stop you from gaining lean muscle. Myth and mistake number 1, you can tone and shape your muscles with light exercises. Many women think they can make their muscles firmer without making them bigger by doing light exercises. This is not true. You need to lift some weight to build muscles. And you can't change the shape of your muscles because it depends on your genes. You can work on your butt and legs, but you can't make them look like a model's. To get a firm body, you need to do sculpting. This means building muscles and losing fat at the same time. Mike says that this is what thinner, leaner, stronger is all about. Myth and mistake number two, lifting weights will make you bulky. Mike says that you should gain muscle weight because it makes your metabolism faster and your body tighter. You don't have to worry about getting bulky muscles because it's very hard for women to do that. Women don't have the same hormones and genes as men who can build big muscles easily. It takes a lot of work, time, and food to get bulky. Myth and mistake number three, the more you exercise, the better. No one likes to spend hours doing hard workouts. Mike says that too much exercise can make you lose muscle and keep fat but he also doesn't want you to do too little exercise. That's why this book is here to help you. It will show you how to make your exercise program right so you can grow your muscles without hurting them. Myth and mistake number four, you have to feel the burn to get bigger and stronger muscles. The phrase no pain, no gain is wrong. The burning feeling in your muscles when you exercise is caused by acid that doesn't help your muscles grow at all. It does make your body release some hormones that help your muscles grow a little bit, but Mike says that the best way to grow your muscles is by overloading them. Myth and mistake number 5, wasting time with the wrong exercises. The best kind of exercises for building muscles are compound exercises. These are exercises that work on more than one muscle group at once. You also need to eat right and rest enough. Mike says that it's not good to change your exercises too often. It can stop your muscles from growing. 
you need to find the right exercises and stick with them. And this book can help you do that. Myth and mistake number six, training like an idiot. You also need to do your exercises the right way. If you don't pay attention to how you lift weights, you might look cool, but you might also hurt yourself. Myth and mistake number seven, training like a wussy. While you shouldn't overtrain, you also shouldn't be lazy. People tend to avoid things that are hard and uncomfortable. But if you do that, you won't get the results you want. Your muscles and tendons might ache sometimes, but remember that pushing through will be worth it. Trust the process and work hard.